a quick administrative announcement. Two TikTokers have cloned my account. They've taken my bio, my picture, some videos, and my name. They're sending out messages to my followers asking for money. If you get a message like that, supposedly from me, that is not me. Don't give them money and please report them to TikTok. Are you living the abundant life? Do you have plan A in your life? Now, Jesus wants us to live the abundant life. Look at John 10.10. 10. But he also tells us there's going to be tribulations in this fallen world. John 16.33. My opinion is this. There's too many Christians unnecessarily not living the abundant life. They're living plan B, C, D, and maybe F. Here's my opinion again. Many don't know what to do to have an abundant life. So in this video, I'm going to give some suggestions to potentially maximize your opportunity to have an abundant life. Plan A in life. Now, this is not a guarantee. I'm not presenting a... Uh, foolproof formula, but they are 12 suggestions that I have learned in my life. I've been a Christian for 51 years, and I've made most of the mistakes that have resulted in me suggesting these things today, these 12 suggestions. Now, the first thing you must be is saved. You must truly be a saved Christian. You must have everlasting life. You must have eternal life. All you do is put your faith Belief, trust in Jesus, Him alone, and nothing else. Please see video 152 on this eternally important topic pinned to the top of my page. Must you repent? Yes, you must repent if you're a lost person. Please look at video 169 on that subject. Second thing you need to do, and this is going to encapsulate everything, all the 12 suggestions. You should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world. That's Titus 2.12. Take a look at that verse. That's what you should do after you get saved. Now, the rest of this video are some suggestions on how you can do that. Third suggestion on getting the abundant life. This is huge. Perhaps the most important thing after being saved. You must read and study your Bible. You must grow as a Christian. Look at 1 Peter 2.2. If you look at 2 Peter 1, 2, you can see that you can get grace and peace multiplied to you through the knowledge of God. You've got to get in that Bible. Do you want success in your life? Look at Joshua 1, 8. Reading the Bible. What version do I recommend personally? I recommend the King James Version. And why do I recommend that? Look at video 137 and 218. Fourth thing that I recommend you do, put God first in your life. I made a critical mistake. I put my career first for 18 years. Don't put your career first. Don't put your investments first. Put God first. Matthew 6, says this, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. What are all these things? Look at Matthew 6, 24 to 34. It's the basics in life. Like food. you got to have food to have the abundant life. Fifth thing I recommend. Do Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Which says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Just say, here I am, Lord. I am volunteering. Use me. And God will take your present abilities your present knowledge, your present circumstances, and begin to use you. Sixth thing I recommend for the abundant life, read Romans 12, 2, and do it. I'm going to give you three things in that verse. Number one, renew your mind. How do you do that? Read the Bible. Second thing, find out what God's will is in your life. How do you do that? Read the Bible and ask God, ask him to lead, guide, and direct you towards his will for your life. Third thing, this is really important, don't be conformed to the world. Don't behave like the majority of the people in the world. Change your behavior. Be as holy as you can. Look at these videos, video 197 and video 203. Seventh thing that you have to... Be aware of 
saved people still sin. You've got that flesh on you, that body. You will always sin until you die. Look at 1 John 1, 8. But God does not want sin to reign or dominate your body. Look at Romans 6, 12 through 14. For example, if you're a pretty good person, you go to church every week, but you're into pornography or you're having a fornicating or adultery relationship, guess what? Sin is dominating you. And God doesn't want that. Please take a look at video 211, Living in Sin versus Being a Sinner. Eighth thing to get that abundant life, to get plan A, avoid chastisement. Look at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5 through 11. Some of the most unpopular verses in the Bible. If sin is reigning or dominating in your life, you might expect chastisement. And if you're getting chastised, you're probably not living the abundant life. You're probably not in the plan A for your life. Ninth thing for getting that abundant life, and this is huge. You are in a spiritual battle. Look at Ephesians chapter 6, 12 through 18. Satan is your adversary. 1 Peter 5, 8. You used to be a child of the devil before you trusted in Jesus. And guess what? Satan wants you to have a miserable life. Satan can put thoughts in your mind. Look at Acts chapter 5, 1 through 5. And if he can put thoughts in your mind, guess what else he can do? He can put thoughts in the mind that, of people you associate with, including your spouse. You've got to know how to resist Satan. This is huge. Please take a look at videos 71 and video 1. Five nine. Tenth thing to get that abundant life. Tenth suggestion. If you're one of those people that you think has an awful past and you can't get over it, Satan wants you to keep remembering that. He wants to keep you down and miserable about your past. Please see video 157. Paul was a mass murderer. He got over it. See how he did it. In video 157. Eleventh thing. This is really important. It's a big area. It's prayer. Now, I'm going to default to the best book I've ever read on prayer. It is called A Better Way to Pray by Andrew Womack. If you call his ministry, that book will cost you, I think, about $15. Highly recommend it. The number to his ministry is 719-635-1100. Now, there's two very important uh, verses on prayer. Take a look at John 15, 7 and 1 John 3, 22. I also recommend this. Read 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. It says, pray without ceasing. I do formal prayer in the morning, but I try to pray throughout the day. I'm going to, to, to my mailbox. You can pray going to your mailbox, Lord. I, I'm going to my mailbox. I can see it. Thank you, Lord. I can see. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for that, that great flower that I'm just looking at, that part of your creation. You can, you can commune with God all day, and I recommend it. Last thing. This is really big, too. I knew an evangelist and a pastor for over 55 years. This is what he said was the most important thing that a Christian could do in their life. Maintain daily quality fellowship with God. Some kind of combination of prayer, Bible reading, devotionals, whatever you want to do. And I made a video on this. It's video 66. But develop your own plan for daily quality fellowship. Bottom line, we all want the abundant life. We all want plan A in life. There's no guarantee. What's in this video is not a guarantee. It's not a formula. But if you do what's in this video, you have the potential, the potential to get plan A in your life the abundant life.